Hello, I'm I am. This is part two. The garage. Uh, this is um, a welder for the gas container. Lawnmower and electric weed eater. Got a petrol one here. Um, it's the table up there. That's the uh, transformer. Um, 12 volt maximum 5 amp. Let's put an ammeter there. There we go. It's an old radio, LW and MW stations only. Power outlet, which I need to fix. A bit dodgy. And I also did this. I bonded this. Oh, it's a nice light, isn't it? I bonded this earth because there was no earth connected to this. This box wasn't bonded, so I was playing a bit of a risk. So I bonded it just for extra safety. Um, PDL, old fashioned light. This switch is for a power outlet down there, which I need to rewire because it got water on it and it's black now. It's shorted out. Um, what else is a meat cutter? It doesn't, doesn't get used anymore. Bus, bus, bus bars. Um, what a mess over here. I'm really sorry about the mess. Broken um, drill. Fuse box. Well, not really a fuse box, just a fuse box cover. And I'll show you a fuse, an actual one. This is for like a little apartment. You've got the water heating over here, 15 amp. You've got the range, 35. You've got the heating, aka power outlets, 20 amp, and a light, 5 amp. This is the main switch, 60 amp, as usual, New Zealand regulations, 60 amp. And these MCBs, of course. So, yeah, it's really nice, really nice fuse box. Let's see if I can open it. No, it'll be in another video. Um, it's a bike up there. Plug over here. This is what I did over here for my garage door. Positive and negative. Over here, you just press that red button. Oh. The button needs a little effort to work. A little light up there. It's a switch for the garage. Random switch that doesn't do anything. Um. And that's a three-phase heater, real powerful. Some engines I've got in here, another engine, and a three-phase grinder. We've got my granddad used to own a farm. It's another one of these. Um, an electric hedge trimmer, torch. It's running out of battery, and a fridge, a mini fridge. All the components, but we got heaps of stuff here. Yeah. But I'm taking over now of this garage, so because my granddad is dead. So, yep, all goods. Some old fashioned seed disperser, I forgot what that even is, but I think it's that. A random frying pan. Like I said, I'm really sorry for all this mess. And, uh, yes, I uh, wonder what else. Another fluorescent light fitting. My granddad used to be an electrician. Another fluoro fitting down there. A little projector. Just right there. Um, a power outlet I installed myself. Looped it from that one. Uh, what else? Sorry for the sniffles. It's just getting a bit cold. A saddle. Um, Old fashioned power outlets, PDL, 60s version, I think. 70s, doesn't really matter. Oh, yes, this this used to be an old pool pump adapter, but what I did to now is I put some screws through there and um, I attached it. So I can just use this as a mini extension cord. Heavy duty 10 amp, that's what the plug rating is, rating is, but I usually put. Yeah, you know, I usually get around 10 amps, but I can. It doesn't really matter what the plug says, it's the wiring. But doing 30 amps on a 10 amp plug, it's not too good. They kind of crack. Like my grandfather had on his farm, his plugs were cracked over his overload. Another 150 watt bulb. 
Um, heaps of old fashioned plugs and switches. There's a stove plug, oh, so stove switch, and an old plug. Of course, I'm not in Australia, I'm in New Zealand, so that's why the plugs are those shaped. And down there is heaps of disgusting water. And a jack. Um, bug zappers just down there, fluoro bug tractors. They just zap them, I think, but I don't want to put my finger there. Not sure if they do zap them, but anyway, um, more tools up there, little air pump just there. Um, wiring cable and that stuff up there. A barbecue, all that junk's on top of that little barbecue there. Another light fitting, saw, drill bits. Power plugs, switches, like I told you, granddad's an electrician, so, or was an electrician. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching.